What are sirens? Some claim them to be the dark and edgy sisters of mermaids. Remember mermaids? The fish-like humanoid creatures luring sailors into the dark depths of the oceans. Yes, apparently, they are not alone. Sirens are evil creatures living deep in the sea. Just like mermaids, they are depicted as beautiful women having the tails of fishes, but they've been also known to be scary humanoid creatures having sharp teeth for ripping human flesh apart. Popularly known for luring in sailors with their enchanting songs and then killing them for their riches, mention of sirens is widespread. Be it literature, mythology, art, or even popular media, the human race seems to be mystified by stories of such deadly, mystifying, and strange creatures. People have wild questions regarding the idea of sirens or mermaids. Most of these questions arise because such creatures are mysterious and slightly less popular than mermaids. But are they real? There's no evidence suggesting the same and thus, it's probably safe to say that sirens are creatures of legend and mythology. They've been said to originate from Greek mythology. Does that stir up the childlike enthusiasm inside you? <laughs> if so, stay tuned until the end of this video, because we have a lot to reveal about these majestic creatures. There have been multiple reports of siren-like creatures, but never has anyone garnered solid proof substantiating these wild claims. Many sirens or mermaid sightings have ended up being hoaxes or have later been debunked. There's also a mockumentary called Mermaids, The Body Found, focusing on how mermaids and sirens are evil creatures. Even though the content might be satisfying to a lot of viewers, the footage they use is fake. It's quite unlikely that sirens exist. There have been widespread accounts of mermaids, but most of those were manatees mistaken for mermaids. The sirens that we are talking about today seem to be different kinds of mermaids, but according to Greek mythology, sirens are half woman and half bird. Mention can be found of sirens in Homer's Odyssey, where on the island near Scylla and Charybdis, the sirens lived. Homer wrote that they would await ships and sing songs to bring ruin and death to sailors. It's in this epic that the hero Odysseus manages to pass unscathed through siren territory by having his crew stuff their ears with wax. However, Odysseus was pulled to the song of the siren and thus tied himself to the ship's mast so he wouldn't be able to give in to the siren's songs and follow himself to his death. Apart from folklore, sirens have also been depicted in Greek pottery and paintings that further throw light on the story of Odysseus. But are mermaids and sirens the same, or are they different? The terms mermaid and siren are often used interchangeably, but as popular legend and literature suggests, the two are not the same. Mermaids are half fish and half human who live in the ocean and are typically said to be harmless. Unlike them, sirens are evil. They're known to sing mystical songs that lure sailors underneath the ocean to a horrific death. Mermaids are said to be generally good-natured, although some legends suggest that mermaids would also sing enchanting songs to attract sailors for the various riches inside their ships. Mermaids are known to relax on beaches and rocks while combing their hair and singing beautiful songs. Sirens, on the other hand, are much different. Stories tell of mermaid-like creatures who sing to the sailors and put them into a trance. One might argue that sirens are not evil and that they are simply biologically programmed to kill, just like animals in the wild who kill other animals or even humans, but it's only when they encroach upon their territory. So in that sense, are they really evil? Evil is a human construct, with the word being defined as being profoundly immoral and wicked. In that sense, what exactly separates the evil from nature? Animals kill humans all the time, but when humans kill humans, it's considered evil. Why is that so? Is it the awareness of right and wrong that we possess? Is it our conscience that enables us to be evil? Well, sirens are not humans, so do they have to function according to our set of morals? Honestly speaking, it's up to interpretation and one stand on nature to believe in the evil nature of these mythical creatures. One of the most common superpowers attributed to sirens is their ability to shapeshift. According to popular media, film, and television, sirens can transform into humans. This is shown in the TV show Siren and even in the fourth part of Pirates of the Caribbean. Although, if viewed from a natural perspective, Siren's ability to become human can be seen as a creative stroke of play depending on the person writing the story. But what more details did the show Siren reveal to us about these terrifying creatures? Freeform came out with the show on March 29, 2018, 
and within a few months, many mermaid lovers became ardent fans, but unfortunately for them, the show was cancelled after three seasons. The plot revealed itself in an oceanside town, where there was a lot of interest surrounding mythical creatures like mermaids or sirens. In this show, a siren named Rin searches for her lost sister, while two marine biologists attempt to help her in her pursuit. The show turns dark and gory at times, but is quite an entertaining watch if such genres spike your interest. In this show, the main character Rin could transform into a human while going out of the water. Rin was quite beautiful in the show, with a fascinating otherworldly charm about her. Her piercing eyes and sharp facial features won over many hearts. When she was in her siren form, she had a long gray tail with spikes in her fins, sharp teeth, and webbed fingers. Sirens can change their appearance according to their choice. However, it's assumed that they have green-colored eyes due to the lack of pigment. They can also be depicted as beautiful women with tails of fish, but can be scary and humanoid creatures at the same time with sharp teeth that are used to tear human flesh. They can also manipulate the water and project it in the form of offensive water blasts. Also, dark sirens have the power to form offensive fire blasts, and fire sirens, on the other hand, can leap into the air. They were believed to be surrounded by the bones of their victims, with the most recent flesh still rotting off the bone. If somehow they found themselves not being able to accomplish their goal, they are to die by suicide, meaning if you were able to hear their shooting voice but weren't physically drawn to them, they would end their lives. What would happen if they existed? Sirens would be a very dangerous aspect of our waters if they did exist, but where they would be located would be quite interesting and would certainly affect us. From the way we gather fresh fish to the way we travel overseas, life as we know it would have changed. Mention of sirens can also be found in the popular Hollywood franchise Pirates of the Caribbean. In the fourth part titled At Stranger Tides, the crew of pirates in their quest to find the Fountain of Youth fight deadly sirens as they attempt to capture one of them. Although they're called mermaids in the movie, careful observation reveals that they resemble sirens in their appearance and violent nature. In the movie, the fight between humans and sirens turns out to be quite chaotic. Although the pirates manage to capture a siren named Serena, one of the pirates falls in love with her. This compels him to help her escape, and in return, she kisses him. This grants the pirate the ability to breathe underwater, and it's after this that she drags him underwater and the man isn't seen again. His fate wasn't revealed in the movie later on. To be honest, very little is known about sirens these days. What little information we can gather comes from mythology and legends from the past, or maybe books, documentaries, or movies. But what most of them suggest is that they are female hybrids with a tendency toward killing male sailors. Apart from this, the rest is up to personal choice and interpretation. Whether or not they possess the ability to become human, whether or not they are evil, or mermaids in disguise, are questions that cannot be faithfully answered. What is known, though, is that sirens come in many different forms, and one must be extremely careful at kicking off a romantic relationship with a siren, i.e., if that lucky person survives the ordeal in the first place. Now that we've come to the end of the video, what do you think about sirens? Do you ever fantasize about meeting them? Do you think they exist? If so, what are you going to do if you meet one? Let us know in the comments section below. And if you like this video, don't hesitate to like and share it with your friends and family. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, do not hesitate to. Also, don't forget to hit the notification bell icon so that you don't miss an update when we release new videos. Thanks for watching.